हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू नोसी पी टेक्नोलॉजी माय नेम इज श्रीपाल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई द पैच इन ओरेकल यूजिंग दिस मेथड यू कैन अप्लाई द पैच इन एनी वर्जन एंड एनी प्लेटफॉर्म वेदर इट इज विंडो प्लेटफॉर्म एंड वेदर इट इज लाइनेक्स प्लेटफॉर्म बट इन दिस प्रैक्टिस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई द पैच ऑन विंडोज प्लेटफॉर्म लिटिल बिट डिफरेंस ओनली नथिंग एल्स ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम लेट्स मूव द कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन एंड स्टार्ट द प्रैक्टिकली First of all we need to download the latest patch from the Oracle official website and read the readme file very carefully I have already downloaded the both files So as per the readme file it is recommending to us the latest o patch version like this so we need to download the latest o patch using the following link which is already mentioned in the readme file so you have to download the latest o patch as per your platform in this scenario we are going to apply the patch in the standalone database single instance in the readme you can get the complete steps whether it is data guard environment and whether it is rsc environment if you want a video on how we can apply that patch in oracle data guard environment and oracle rsc environment then please write in the comment box i will uh, upload the video as soon as possible here you can see my database release is 12201 After downloading the latest O patch, we need to take the backup of old O patch directory. Just make a copy and paste it uh, uh, any other location or on the same location. Just rename it and unzip the latest downloaded O patch in the Oracle home with the same location. Okay, I have done this. After replacing the latest O patch, let me check the O patch version. Now you can see. O patch version is updated. Before applying the patch, we need to stop all the database services, including listener and distributed transaction coordinator service. This is not a Oracle service. This is OS service actually. So we need to stop this service also and apply the O patch. Set the environment variables and change the directory where you unzip the patch using the cd command now execute the o patch apply command just follow me that process will take little long time in execution so let me fast forward the video once o patch is successfully applied then we need to start all the database service So finally we have a successfully applied the o patch so let me start all the database services including listener now follow the steps as per the readme file and execute the data page hyphen verbose command the data page is apply the corresponding changes to the data dictionary in the database you must remember that if you have multiple databases running from the same oracle home you must run the data patch against each database after that let me check invalid objects detail and you can see 778 invalid objects is available in the database right now before executing the next step let me show you first the patch is successfully applied at database level or not using the following command and you will see it is applied successfully at db level also now let me compile all the invalid objects just executing the utlrp.sql well. Okay it is completed now let me verify invalid objects detail again and this time you will see there is no invalid objects so finally our patching has been completed now 
Hey guys, I hope you really learned something from this video. If yes, please write your feeling in the comment box. And if you are new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel OCP Technology and press the bell icon so that you will get my all the new video notification in your mailbox. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.